So today we're going to talk about three points which you can see. So first we'll talk about the targets, extend CSS selectors and coordinator syntax. So uh, before we jump to targets, so uh, if we go back to our example, uh, which we were looking at. So currently whatever we are filing the request, it was getting uh, the response which you are getting was getting inside that element itself but now we don't want that to happen we want to specify a target so instead of happening it here we want to replace the response with the text box so how to do that that's where the target comes in so if i sh let's go back to here so we have created if called search box and here's a text search so i want to do what i want to do is i want to go inside this search box and i want to replace this search so how I will do is, so that is something, the syntax of this or at, attribute of this is called HX uh, target, where you specify the target. So we, it, just like a normal CSS selector if you have used, so it's search box, we want to go inside the search box and we want to replace this search. Okay. So now if I try to find it, as you can see, the response is going beneath it but now if we try to see the dom it's going inside the search box so it has replaced the text so this is how you can load the response uh, from uh, to another element now let's talk about some of the other uh, use case so if we go back to our uh, toc uh, extended css selector so there are um, just like if you have used jquery in the past or even this are coming in the native js also so let's go one by one so this this represents as the name suggests this represents the current selected element so if i just type this here so instead of loading response now you just see so now as soon as i file a request it will replay uh it will fire uh it will show, show the response inside it now similarly we want to go to the closest so the closest part is quite interesting i went to the mozilla docs so there they have given a quite uh, good example of closest okay so i will just take this up okay yeah so what the closest says is uh, like like let's go back here okay let's say we want uh let's go back to this example itself and uh, yeah let me just change it it's not indicator it's uh we are talking about the targets yeah so what this closest says is now let me just uh, take this whole element itself okay and yeah so instead of finding that i will be just showing the example on the div itself so what uh let's say we want to uh let's say i put it here okay i put it here on div 2 so it will fire a get request it will swap the outer html or when the trigger is click as usual and the target so here instead of this i will just type closest so what this closest does is it all it, like it will find the closest ancestor of it ancestor means something which is nested in it so if we see this this whole diff uh this whole diff is uh nested inside our div and the article so what we want here is we want to find the closest ancestor uh, so which is actually uh, div which and which actually comes inside the article okay it will find the closest uh, ancestor of it or it will find itself and if this goes wrong it will throw error in the console see so if we click on two as you can see it replaces everything because if you see an article and the response is inside the article so it finds the closest ancestor of it and then it replaces with it so if we go back to this uh yeah so as you can see if we have selected uh this div uh, like if we have selected article with div one uh, which has a closest ancestor which is a div and which has a parent of article so if we see so that comes as div one so it replaced all this with ones okay so now let's see the other example that is uh, of this div div so you, it will find the closest ancestor which is a div so th the target element is three right target element is three so the closest ancestor which is a div of div and so that will be of course zero three itself okay so now let's get back to the next that is the closest 
So what we do, let's go back to our whole example. So I just remove this up very quick. Okay. So the next and previous is quite similar. So what I will do is uh, I will create two buttons here. So uh, button. I will name it as prep previous. Other one is uh, Okay, so preview next year. Now, what I want to do is uh, so now if I say the target that is a previous and that is a that is a button, right? So, so previous of this element. Now, if I try to find a request, let's see something got wrong. Okay, so it's not brief, it's preview plus. Okay. Yeah, see, it showed the response previous button. Now, if you want to do the same to the next one, you have to just change it to the next. So this comes quite handy when you want to have play with all these elements. So the last one which I will talk about is called find. So so we find the first descendant. So descendant will be instead of search, it will be a span, right? So descendant. So find will find the First descended. So if we see the first descended here we have is the span itself. Now if I try this from this rocket, it will show the response. The locker rocket will show up and then the response will show inside it. So this is how the find works. Now once we have talked about all of this extended CSS selectors. Now it's time to select uh, talk about the query literal syntax. So query literal syntax is of uh, quite similar so if for that i wanted to show you uh back to this doc so this is a simple example of it so if you want to say select a, a single button right so this the correction this query little syntax is only for selections okay selection so what i want to say here is instead of writing like span here you can just write span like this and then also it will still work now if we reload it see it will still work as not normal so if you want to work like this and also you can give not conditions so not let's say of a class uh, any class so it will check it will find all the descendants the first descendant that is a span and which is not a class of load so uh, so this is how this works so yeah thank you for watching i hope you have a nice day so let's see you in the next video where we will talk something more interesting about it so yeah thank you have a nice day